What's up everyone, welcome to another video. It's your boy Gabe, and today we are making chicken caprese sandwiches. Mmm, I love caprese, I love sandwiches, and I love chicken. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. So before we get started, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that sub button and notification button. Let's get to it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook my chicken. So in here I have some chicken breasts that I cut thin and I and marinating them in Italian dressing. That's it, that's simple. Now all you have to do is let these marinate for at least an hour or you can let them marinate overnight, that's fine too. Okay, and then we're gonna cook these until they're 165. But while these are cooking, we're gonna get everything set up so that, that way when they're done, we can assemble our sandwich. So let's obviously begin with what we're gonna put on this sandwich. So the first thing I have is some sliced up fresh mozzarella, obviously. Can't have caprese without fresh mozz. And then you can use regular tomatoes or you can put them in like a, a dressing of some sort or whatever. But I'm going to use some sun-dried tomatoes because I really like sun-dried tomatoes and I like the way they taste. And I like the way they taste with caprese. So I'm using sun-dried tomatoes. And then we'll add a little bit of basil leaves to this. And then I have here some pesto. And then I'm gonna make some pesto mayo. So just about a half cup of mayo. I have some olive oil mayo and then about a quarter cup or so of pesto, however pesto we want it. And then as for buns, I just got some nice uh, Italian sub buns to put them on, and we'll toast them on our, our Blackstone, and then we'll assemble a sandwich. So I still got about five minutes on my chicken, I just flipped them over, but I'm gonna go ahead and toast my buns. And I just got a little bit of olive oil, and then I went ahead and cut them in half. All right, so the chicken is cooked, I got everything ready to go, I made my pesto mayo, let's assemble a sandwich. All right, so I got my bun, and I went ahead and toasted it, okay? We're gonna start with our pesto mayo, and then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this piece of chicken. Okay, and then next I'm gonna add a couple basil leaves, probably about two or three. You don't need a whole lot because you are doing pesto, but I like basil and I like the smell. And then next we're gonna add a couple of our mozzarella slices. I'm just gonna do two. Okay, then we're gonna add our sun-dried tomatoes, and I wanna make sure to get some of that oil that it sits in too. Okay, and then lastly, just a little bit of arugula. <clears throat> now, if you'd like to, you can cheat a little bit and you can add some balsamic glaze. If you're feeling fancy and generous, you don't have to, optional, but I like the stuff. And there you have a beautiful caprese chicken sandwich. Let's eat. I don't even know where to start. We're gonna start down here because this is where all the tomatoes ended up. Cheers. So the chicken cooked perfectly, yummy. The fresh mozz, I love fresh mozz. The pesto, the pesto mayo actually does a really nice job. The arugula adds a nice texture. You don't taste the basil a whole lot because you do have the pesto mayo, but it is a nice crunch. And uh, the sun-dried tomatoes add a nice texture as well. But overall, this sandwich is delicious definitely worth trying out but there you have it a grilled chicken caprese sandwich made with a little pizzazz but there you have it if you like this video again and you're new to the channel make sure you hit that sub button share this with your friends and family and as always guys peace out and i'll see you guys in the next one